welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your student nurse, Marinel. I am a level 1 nursing student at Foundation University College of Nursing. And in this video, I will be sharing to you how to do a return demonstration on proper body mechanics and safe lifting. I have there my patient, but before we start the procedure, let's discuss what is body mechanics first. Body mechanics is the efficient, coordinated, and safe use of the body in order to carry out activities of daily living. Its primary purpose is to facilitate the safe and efficient use of appropriate muscle groups to maintain balance, to reduce the energy required, to minimize fatigue, and lastly, to decrease the risk of injury. What about the rationale and purpose of having this procedure? It is because nurses in the clinical setting are exposed to different or variety of physical tasks which includes reaching, stooping, lifting, pushing, and pulling. Now, if practiced incorrectly, any of these tasks could cause strain, fatigue, and injury to both our patient and our nurse. With practice, the concept and principle of proper body mechanics and safe lifting will be making the movement of our patient smooth and sure. It will also be decreasing fatigue and tension to our patient and to our nurse. It will be decreasing the energy required and lastly, it will be enhancing the safety of our patient. For the assessment, the first thing that shall be done is to check our patient's record if she or he is having Having any skeletal, muscular, or nervous system problem. For the planning, you need to do hand washing prior to entering patient's room. Good morning, Mrs. Galang. I am your student nurse, Marinel, once again. And ma'am, I will be reminding you that today, 10 a.m., you will be doing your x-ray, okay? So, you were complaining earlier, ma'am, that you are having um, leg cramps and you're also having abdominal pain. So, we will be using our wheelchair. Would that be okay with you, ma'am? Okay, so, red na tama mo ato sa atong x-ray room. Okay, very good. Free the surrounding area with any obstacles. So, I will just be getting our um, wheelchair, ma'am. Okay. In pushing an object, enlarge the base of support by moving the front foot forward. Move required equipment near the head or foot of the bed. Avoid working against gravity. You could pull, push, or turn objects instead of lifting them. Do not forget to lock the brakes of your wheelchair. Adjust the working area to waist level and keep body close to the area. Provide a firm, smooth and dry bed foundation before moving a client in bed or you could use a pull sheet always face the direction of the movement start any body movement with proper alignment you could stand as close as possible to the object and avoid stretching reaching and twisting before moving an object increase your stability by widening your stance and flexing your knees hips and ankles Unlock wheelchair brakes. After the examination, bring your patient back to his or her room. When pulling an object, enlarge the base of support by moving the rear leg back. Lock again the wheelchair brakes. When moving or carrying objects, hold them as close as possible to your center of gravity. Use your gluteal and leg muscles rather than sacrospinal muscles of your back to exert an upward thrust when lifting. You can also use arms as levers whenever possible to increase lifting power. Distribute the workload between both arms and legs to prevent back strain. Make sure that after lifting your client, he or she is in a comfortable position. After doing the procedure, do hand hygiene or hand sanitation for infection control and exit patient's room.